Alright, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I actually vlogged. I got rubber bands for the front of my braces and I hate them. They make me talk even worse than I ever did before, so it's great. But I think we're on the finishing touches of my braces, which is a good thing. Right now, I'm actually trying to get tickets to go see IU. Funny enough, I actually got tickets for Chicago. I'm trying to get tickets for Oakland right now because I live here. But my goodness, it's been a freaking mess. I originally tried to get tickets for New Jersey. They were sold out, so I just like gave up. And then I tried for Chicago and I got super, super lucky. I don't know how, but I got really good tickets. Then like immediately after I got my tickets, I went back in the queue and it was like completely sold out. So I don't know what happened, but I got really lucky. <laughs> but I'm looking to see if they have anything for Oakland just to see. I don't actually know. I don't expect anything. I'm 7,000 right now in the queue. It's already 12.09. And based on my other two experiences, we're not going to be lucky. But yeah, today I have to go pick up my eyeglasses from when I went back in January. In case you weren't aware, it's March 7th. It's March 7th. <laughs> Girl, the fact that it took two months to get my glasses is so insane. I've had these for over a month now and I already got my contacts. I finally got those. It took a month for them to give me my prescription. I had to email them twice. Like I had the QR code thing. I did that twice. I emailed them twice and then I had to call them and then I finally got my prescription. What else has changed in my life? I'm going to be leaving my job at the end of April or like sooner. I'm not sure because I can't get a leave of absence for when I go to Korea and that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna see if I can get IU tickets for here. Probably not. Okay, so it's now like 12.30 and I've been stuck on the same number for the queue for the past like 15 minutes. I think it's the same thing that happened when I tried to get tickets to see Shuga. But damn, I'm stuck at like 5,500 something. I'm like, girl, what the hell? Anyways, that's what we get for IU only doing six shows. So I just got into the thing right now and I'm waiting to see how awful it is for the tickets. It's 12.36 by the way. Oh my god. Wow. These tickets are so expensive. Even when I got tickets for Chicago, I spent almost $500 per ticket. But these ones were like $600 per ticket. Wow. That's so insane. They're so expensive. $1,200. They're selling out so fast. They're literally so expensive I can't even believe it. Chicago was expensive. Expensive, right but like six or seven hundred dollars a ticket is so crazy I can't even believe it I mean I'm pretty sure it was the same for New Jersey it's like the average ticket price is like five or six hundred dollars yeah I don't see much of anything the few that they've released since I've been in here have sold for five or six hundred dollars almost seven hundred it's like I understand that Ticketmaster is dynamic pricing right but I don't know why they do it because it makes it so unless you have a lot of money you really can't afford to go to these shows and I find that insulting honestly because it means people really just can't go you know I mean I don't have money like that to just buy fucking $700 tickets I think it's so ridiculous because it's not like I need to buy the tickets here it was more like if I could go here then it's like okay this is a bit easier because then I don't have to travel I mean flying to Chicago isn't cheap you know going to Chicago isn't cheap either so I guess it kind of equals out if I can buy expensive tickets here and just resell my Chicago ones and it's like okay well but they're only releasing one ticket at a time right now and that's not helpful because it's for me and my husband and they sell out like that. I don't know how I got so lucky with Chicago compared to here. I click and it's like I don't get anything. It's so fast. <gasps> no! Oh my god, I fucked up. I accidentally hit the back button. Oh my god, what a loser. Well, if I have to go to Chicago, I'm not like that upset. I actually wanted to go to the Chicago show compared to like the other shows. I wanted an excuse to travel to Chicago, so. Because I actually really like it there. I visited Chicago a few different times and I really liked it, so. This is seven and a half minutes of me trying. Wow, do you want to be on the floor? Come like thousand dollars jesus christ are you you're causing me stress girly belly pop the hell oh my god i keep hitting the back button on accident what the hell oh my god what the hell i keep hitting the back button what the fuck are you serious it said an error has occurred and my place in the queue is no longer valid so it kicked me out and i will rejoin in one second there's twenty seven thousand people ahead of me i'm gonna wipe my hands of oakland yeah i'm done with oakland i got my tickets for chicago they're really good it's not gonna be worth it so i'm gonna study now potato i'm super late to get my glasses because parking was such a nightmare <laughs> Alex, oh, poor thing. 
Alright, hello, good morning. It's been a while since I've sat down and done one of these. I forgot to show you guys my glasses. Here we are. They're not my favorite. They're not bad, but they're not my favorite. Here's the thing. I had to wait for, like, months to get these glasses. How long was it? I don't know. I think it was just over two months because they messed up my glasses when I was in New York. They originally had gotten the correct prescription, but then they didn't do the transition, so they had to remake them anyway. I don't know. These glasses are just, like, not it. I'm not wearing them. Like, I wear them when I'm at home, but, like, they're not ones that I I would probably wear. They're Marc Jacobs and these ones, my favorite ones are Marc Jacobs as well. I don't know, just not feeling them. Okay, these are a bit better. So I just wanted to give you guys some updates because I haven't vlogged since I was actually in New York basically and it's already March. I've just been really busy getting back on track with my routine, with studying and everything and I've actually been working on reading some different books to help me kind of like shift into a new mindset with my life. Like with my weight loss, I've been pretty stagnant realistically for about six months. I haven't really made any type of progress. I've just either like gained back a little bit of weight or I've just stayed the same and I'm trying to figure out why that is and obviously it's my own actions. So I've been trying to think about like what can I do to kind of push forward. So I've been reading a few different books. One of course is just Atomic Habits which I've read this before but I'm taking like really detailed notes when I read it this time just to kind of like give myself some pointers or how I want to move forward with my life with going back to school studying Korean losing weight being active like all these different things it takes a lot of putting myself into a lot of different boxes but I want to do well not not only that but also YouTube I like posting I think it's fun but I just don't know how to like manage my time well enough where I can do everything so I'm trying to figure out how to make it so I can do what I need and want to do without feeling so overwhelmed I guess this is another book I got I haven't actually started reading this. This is recommended to me by a coworker. So I'm going to be reading this one. And I believe he told me this one is about like being present in the moment in the tasks that you're doing. And like instead of like worrying about like the past or future, it's more about like being present in your life. I'm also reading this book, The Joy of Movement, which this one's an easy read. I just started reading it like a couple days ago. This is more about like how exercise helps, like basically how being active is like foundational for life and how being active is actually a way to help people with not only like their mental help with their physical health. Another book that I want to read is Can't Hurt Me. I've heard really good things about this book and that's just a memoir and then also like overcoming adversity and things like that so I thought this would be a really good read as well. And then I have two more books that I'm going to open right now. Also Alex is here. This one is, I don't know how to pronounce this because I don't speak Japanese. Ikigai, I think. Apparently, Ikigai means reason for living in Japanese. So this is kind of about that. This was also recommended to me by a coworker. So I'm going to be reading this one as well to help me kind of figure out like, just kind of expand my mind and think about, again, what I want to do with my life, how I want to proceed forward, and just what matters to me. And then my friend recommended this one, Amanda, actually. The Power of Now. A Guide to Spiritual Enlightenment. That'll be interesting. So those are the books I'm currently working on reading just to kind of like give myself a bit of perspective in my life. Right now I'm reading Atomic Habits and the Joy of Movement and then after that I'll proceed to the next books and I'll let you guys know my thoughts. Other than that the only major update is that he finally went to the dermatologist. So as of right now we don't know exactly what it is but we're doing a trial for a food diet. I ordered him like it's this pork protein instead of like regular because we we're kind of thinking it's a food allergy. He also has to take steroids for a few weeks. We're gonna see if that helps. One of his ears had an infection and they are a bit inflamed and then I also have to give him ear cleaner for the next couple weeks to try and clear up a little bit of an infection in his right ear so yeah that's been interesting he finally got to go we're finally trying a different diet but god it's so expensive i love him so much i'll do anything for him but my goodness the amount of money it costs is so insane i'm also going to see ive next weekend i'm supposed to see itzy as well june 8th but i'm not sure yet because my 10 year high school reunion is like the same day which is kind of funny because the fact that i've been out of high school for 10 years is so like insane I want to vomit anyway <laughs> um, but yeah it's supposed to be like the same day and I really wanted to go but I just don't know if that'll work because basically I come back from Korea and then I have to fly to New York like immediately after to go to the reunion I'm just gonna go through my normal routine today it's 8 40 right now I already showered I didn't work out this morning it's Saturday so I already did my five days of my workout that's another thing I've been working on too is consistency I've been really really consistent with my workouts every day I feel so good 
good. Like, that's the thing with the joy of movement, right? Like, it talks about, like, how when you don't work out, you feel so much worse. And I've noticed that my mental health and, of course, like, how I physically feel is so much better when I'm consistent with my workout. Not even just, like, weightlifting, even the walking. How much better I feel, like, mentally, my anxiety is so much less, like, an extreme amount less compared to what I'm used to dealing with. I used to have panic attacks almost every day or every other day for a while and then I used to have them at least a few times a month and since I've been making an effort to be more active for like not just like the past couple weeks like the past few months I've been making an effort to be very active that has like gone away. I used to be in like a very heightened state of anxiety the majority of my time. I don't feel that way now. I feel like much more optimistic about my life in general and just things around me. I feel like I can function as a person and not feel so like like I used to be very pessimistic and feel like I can't do things and I don't feel that way anymore. I feel like I can do anything I want to and I just feel hopeful and I think I learned from myself through this that movement and exercise is extremely extremely important for my not even just physical health my mental health my mental health does not do well if I don't exercise yeah this is my long-winded update it's been a while also this is my new shelf hang on I'll show you guys so this is my new setup I finally got frames for all my posters this is I am I am Wanu and then I framed my immortal song posters and then everything's just set up this is Alec but the addition is I actually got another bookshelf which I feel like is insane but I just wanted to be able to store my stuff a bit better these are my shoes like these are my house shoes like my slippers my these are what I use to walk on my treadmill and then I have my my Uggs this box is just my frames and stuff I just got all that set up so that way it's a bit more organized which again I feel like it's excessive but I like having my stuff like not super super cluttered it is cluttered but like not as bad as it could be okay Not my glasses only done. Okay, hello. It is the end of the night. I am tired and I have the hiccups. I officially handed in my notice for work. I'm gonna be leaving at the end of this month, which it was really weird because when I handed it in, I actually like cried because I was really sad. I was expecting to be a little emotional, but I wasn't expecting to actually cry in front of my coworkers and my boss. So that was embarrassing, but like, hey, you know, I'm gonna miss it, I guess. Anyway, today my husband and I went to H Mart and then we also went to a K-pop album store. It's called Sarang Hello and it's in San Francisco. He found it for me because I was like, there's no K-pop stores around here and I only see them in LA. And he's like, did you look? And I was like, no, it's like work. So I have AT's season greeting. I was actually looking for 17, but AT's really has just like gotten on my radar recently. I don't know what it is. Since I saw them at Immortal Songs, I've just been like hooked on them. So I've never actually bought one of these before. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Oh my god, there's people. Is this like a sticker? Is it a sticker? Is it actually a sticker? Catch a criminal. Guess who? I'm a criminal. It was me. Oh, they're little photo cards. That's so cute. Oh my god, I'm so tired. It's oh, it's 12 o'clock. Oh, I thought it was like 11.30. Oh my god. Oh, these photos are so cute. I'm pretty sure it's the same in any one of these you get, so it's not like special. Like the top one I had with Hong Joon. Here's Hong Wa. You know? Yo Sang Han. Mingi. They can't skimp me on Miggy this time. They can't skimp me on Miggy. They can't skimp me on Miggy. They can't skimp me on Mingi this time. I had tried to pronounce that like 14 times and it was just a tongue twister, okay? Weeyoung, he's my favorite. Tongwo. And pears. Pears. Like, literal pears. That's so cute. These are the photo cards. Oh, there's Korean written on it. Girl, do I look bilingual to you? I'm stupid. Oh, they look cute. Look at them. They're just living their best life. I really love that in every, like,
like K-pop picture, like anytime an idol like takes a picture, they look so not happy and it's so funny because like, like look at this picture of Leo. I know he's like a happy person, but he just looks like he's so miserable. It's so funny. I'm not saying he is miserable, but I just find it funny that whenever they take the pictures, they always just like, it's like the most half-assed smile ever. I love it. And I'm not being sarcastic. Like, I think it's funny. Because I would be the same way. Like, dead ass, I would. I do that at work all the time where I'm just like, it's like your customer service, whatever. Anyway, who the fuck am I? So what is the purpose of this? I've never gotten one of these before, so I don't know what they do. ID photo. Why do I need their ID photos? What is the purpose of this? They have fake smiles and then they are serious. This is a notebook with shit. Calendar! Girl, it's March! What? I didn't know. Damn, I'm failing. And most people I got it for the collectible it really isn't like do or die I don't think this is gonna fit on my shelf I'm gonna have to move ATs I told you guys they were gonna have their own shelf at some point because I was gonna get like a couple hang on I was gonna buy one of their albums but I did have it I'm glad I didn't buy it oh okay I think this one is the correct size I have one more frame I could put this in there I'm not sure yet I mean it's the newest one the other posters I have I'm pretty sure they're kind of like older because I got them for free oh I need a box cutter I use my nail. I'm just like... It's a desk calendar. It has their pictures. Oh, I'm so mad. I didn't know that. Do they each have like a month? So he's just number one. He's not even January. He's not January, guys. He's one. Just just one. These guys are just two. They're not even a month. Just two. Oh, the pages are so thick. Oh, number three is Yunho. So I guess that's the month we're going with. Let's see my birth month. Who is it? Your song is my birth month. The sixth. I'm born in June. In case you didn't know, I was born in June. And yes, I am a Gemini. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for existing it's not my fault blame my mom i bet she's watching my desk calendar this one i actually put up because why the fuck not there's this thing i don't know what this is a tiny detective agency is it a planner are you serious is this an actual planner dude if i had known i would have just never bought one this is actually useful help bitch dead ass it's a planner what no it's not yo uh, what it's literally a planner i'm freaking weak this is so funny so they have the months all the way up until january and then it's just like weekly things so you just like write it out yourself yeah y'all really make me do all this by myself it's just not i don't think there's 52 pages for this planner like how my girl what there's okay so they have the weekly things but there's only 24 of them aren't there like 52 weeks in a year am i like crazy am i the crazy one like what who made this there's no way a way there's no way how do you have a planner but not have enough dates for the planner who planned this because they clearly didn't use a planner to plan this. And that's no shade to ATs. I don't know who designed this, but why would you not have 52 weeks in a planner? You only have 24. That doesn't make any sense. Make it make sense. That actually confuses me. Why would you do that? So basically you can't use this all year because you can only write in half the weeks because there's only 24. I mean, I counted every page. I didn't actually count by page. I counted by like each week. So one, two, three, four. It wasn't even by page. If it was by page, 24 would make sense almost almost would make sense it's still 48 even if you double 80s listen i know you're not watching this i love you but what the hell is this why would you give me a planner with only 24 weeks to write in if i actually wanted to use this i can't i mean they have really cute pictures like look at this man he's like having a good time or whatever like i can't have a good time if i can't plan it out like what the hell anyway again this one on them i'm sure that they're just like doing their thing they're just here for a good time. I don't blame them. And the most important part, the DVD of Catch a Criminal. I don't actually know what this is. I believe it's like a 50 minute thing. I don't know. I don't like Catching Criminals, okay? Because I'm not a police detective. So it's like a lot of work. Overall, this is really cute. I just genuinely don't understand the planner only having 24 weeks. Why would you have 24? Like, I feel like I'm losing my mind. That's my 80s unboxing. I will do more with it later because I'm like tired and it's, it's already 12.07. I work tomorrow. <sighs> Okay. Oh, future me is gonna have fun editing the past couple days because holy fuck. I got scolded when I handed in my resignation to by my coworkers. They were all like, and I was like, girl, what do you want from me? I did not realize I was joined by Alex. Look, he's been with me this whole time. Look at him just sleep, man. He's so cute. Alex has found his new perch. I moved that there so that were their beds could be here because I wanted to move this one into my office because they both only sleep in this bed so I figured if I have this one too maybe because they used to like this one but this one is the favorite now. Hey Alex. Mm -hmm. 